Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I'm up late today to get you your fine picks, your fine per- picks for your perusal. Yes. Um, thank you for the subscriptions to the channel. Your My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace is in the Pearlocopter as we speak. Hernandez and Melissa are working around the clock to bring them to you. So please, no more letters. Although we do love your letters, but not those specific ones about where's my pearls of wisdom necklace and all that. Okay? Okay. Guido is back from the COVID, and he goes down to the mailroom every day, and he gets a sack of letters, and he comes up and he pours them on the letter table, and there's much frolic. But we got a lot to get into today. Um, Yesterday... I went, uh, I'll tell you about my picks yesterday that I gave to my patrons. Highly recommend you get over there. They're winning big, big money. Big money. I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put the link down there in the bio and uh, in the comments in the uh, the bio and you can look that up for yourself. We got some fine packages there. You're not, you can leave at any time. You, unless you take the one-year package where you get 16% off, which I highly recommend. But if you don't, it's all month to month, and you can leave it any time you want. So you got really nothing to lose. Oh, yeah, by the way, in February, February 1st, we're going to be doing parlay challenges for all our max subscribers. And if you beat me and everybody else for the parlay challenge, you get a month free. So... So many ways to get your money back, and everybody makes money anyway, so it don't really matter. Now, let's get into our picks from yesterday. Okay, uh, Flames, We had I had Flames over Canucks. This is what I gave to my Patreon members. Flames over Canucks. Flames beat Canucks. Canes versus Red, uh, Preds over. Just barely got that one, but we did get it. Preds over, over. Montreal. Over the Oilers, we got that. Jackets versus Red Wings. Under had a mass play on that. That was a big pearl play, I like to call it. Large pearls. Throw in large pearls at that. Nailed it. Uh, Islanders versus Bruins. Um, We had that too. Oh, sorry, that was under. Islanders versus Bruins. Under was also a max pearl play. Made it, hit it. I had Jets over Leafs, not right. And I had Vegas versus Zona on the under. We missed the under. And on the ML, Vegas got the ML. Vegas got a freaking empty netter, and it looked like they just shot it down the ice. I I stopped watching. I went down, and I'm doing this. And then I look up, and it's 4-2. And I'm like, when did they get it? I got to go back and see what happened there. I don't know, but they got it. There is something I missed here. Oh, yes. Flames, Canucks. I had the under on large pearls, too. And the the Canucks happened to, and it was 5 2. It was the over. But overall, 7 3 ain't bad. Lots of money up. Um, Also had a parlay for half a pearl, whatever you put on it. Missed it because of Philly. We had St. Louis. Uh, Who else do we have on that? St. Louis, anyways, Philly, we didn't get it because of Philly. Oh, and the Montreal game. No, sorry. Yeah, the Montreal over Oilers game. So, not too shabby. So, let's look at our games for tomorrow, today. You may be watching it today. Tuesday. Tuesday the 19th, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, tomorrow's the 19th. Tuesday the 19th. Okay, like I said, I can't give you all these, right? I got to give, if they're paid picks, I got to give them to my paid customers. I may throw you a paid pick here as we go, though. I just might. I did yesterday. Uh, I think the paid pick I threw you, I lost, though. (laughs) But anyways, uh, Florida versus Chicago. Um, Okay, this, no, Florida versus Chicago, under 6.5. I can give you the under 6.5 here. Not a paid pick. Remember, when I say not a paid pick, it means it's not my preferred pick. Also, I'm going to 
let's bring this up here so you can see the odds on here. You're getting um, on the under here, you're getting total. Under, look at this one here from opening. They do 7.5. They do 7.5, but it's all covered up. Uh, 7.513, and they pay you 138 under. You might want to throw that into a parlay if you can get on the opening app. Uh, but most are going about 187, somewhere around there on the under. Uh, not a bad play. I'll give you that. Um, basically, it kind of depends on who's going to be in net. I hear Bobrovsky might be back. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. That's why I'm not doing this a pay, as a paid pick. Uh, New Jersey versus the Rangers. What do we have? Uh, sorry, let's do. F I got yeah. New Jersey versus the Rangers. I have the I have a pick on the on the line, and uh, I can't give you that. So I'm going to give you the under five and a half because. You have Blackwood playing is playing like crazy. I don't know. They don't really have a back. If they happen to put Dell in net, then maybe I'm thinking over here. But we're gonna have to find out tomorrow. As it stands right now, I think Blackwood will be in. This is a big game against New York, right? Uh, I think Blackwood will be in. Probably Shesterkin. Now Shesterkin's kind of struggled the last little while, but my thinking is that he'll get out of that. New Jersey has a lot of injuries. To Heischer and uh, Bratt and Vatanen, so it takes away a lot of their offense. I think it's likely an under. Uh, I'm not giving it as a paid pick, though, but not a bad will play for you. Here we go with the Philly and Buffalo. By the way, Philly, yeah, screwed up my parlay yesterday. I didn't put it as an individual pick. I thought it was a lock with uh, Carter Hutton playing for Buffalo. Who's going to play in net tomorrow for Buffalo? I don't know. Um, what did I, I think I can give you both. I'm going Flyers ML. I'm going to try Flyers again. And over six, based on the fact that either Carter Hutton will play back-to-back -back because Linus Allmark is injured. So I'm going to go Philadelphia and over six. Buffalo's got enough firepower to definitely push it over. Philadelphia probably will be playing Elliott. So I'm giving you both for now. And I may one of these may be a paid pick. I don't know, but I'm giving you both because I don't I haven't get, give it to my patrons yet. Uh, Washington versus the Penguins. I'm giving you both here. I'm not a big fan of this game. I'll tell you that right now. I'm taking the Caps ML. I think this is pretty much a coin flip. The Caps are on the tired side. Pittsburgh's uh, go um. Pittsburgh's goaltending and defense has been poor. But Washington looked really tired last game. They got a little more rest. Uh, Samsonov should be in net. I'm going to give you under 6.5. And, and I'm going to take Washington. I'll give you the line here. I better give you what you get. Washington 199. Winnipeg, Ottawa. Can't, I got to play on the ML here. What's the over under? I don't think I put a play in for the over under. Uh, yeah, that's right, because Winnipeg will be playing um, Fossois probably, their backup, because they're on a back to back right now. Maybe not. Maybe they go back to Hollowbuck, but I have a feeling they're going to go with Fossois with a weak, a perceived weaker team in Ottawa. Ottawa will probably be playing Murray. Um, this just, Winnipeg, well, what did I put on here? Did I put over? I did put over six. Winnipeg's defense is depleted right now with Brassois and Net. I think Ottawa's got enough firepower to bring up the score quite a bit. Winnipeg can still score. I'm not a huge fan of it, but if I, it, six feels like the total to me. It feels like a push, but I'm going to go over. I'm going to give you the over on that. Columbus, Detroit, I got to play on both over and under. So I can't give you that one. Um, is that, am I going to give you my paid pick here? Yeah, I'll give you my paid pick. This is a paid pick of the day. Okay. I'm going to give you.
Columbus ML over Detroit. And what is that paying? Money line, 160. Maybe you want to go and put it in reg to get the extra juice, but Detroit's playing so defensive right now. Um, however, Fabry is injured now, and they definitely can't afford to lose any offense in Detroit. So um, I'm thinking that um, it will be, oh, what's his name? Not Grice, but look at that. His name has just escaped me. Their other goaltender, he's really good. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, and Columbus will probably be playing Merzlikens. Um So I'm leading Columbus simply because Detroit has played a lot, uh, and Columbus is played a lot better the last game. Detroit is fairly weak. I just think Columbus is going to pull it out. Paid pick, 160 is the best you can find, I think. Yeah, so if you can find it in that area, put a small bet on that. Uh, Nashville versus Carolina. Uh, I'm going to give you both. I'm going to give you uh, under 5.5, but I'm, like I said, I'm not big on this. I'm not big on this under, to tell you the honest truth. I'm not big on the total here because Mrazic is in net. Um, I like the under 6.5 here at 140 if you could do that. But Mrazic is in net for Carolina. These teams are both tired, though. They're both really tired. That's why I'm leaning 5.5. Tired teams usually have a hard time shooting. Uh, and they've been switching up their goaltending. Rennie played last night. Saros will be in net. I kind of lean in the under here. For the total, I think it's a coin flip game. So you might as well go with the juice. I'm going to say, not, oh, you're take, Carolina's getting the juice now. So you might as well go with the Carolina juice. Um, but I, it's a coin flip, pretty much. Los Angeles versus Colorado. I got a play on the line here. So as far as the total, no, I got a play on the line and the total. I'm sorry, I can't give you that pick. Well, that's my full 42% boys and girls. I'm going to go get a nappy nap. It's time for me to get a nappy nap. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live tomorrow, by the way, uh, for steelflyers.com. Uh, I'm going to be doing uh, for the steelflyers.com network from 10 o'clock in the morning until uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, mountain time. That's 12 till 4 Eastern time. I'm doing lives, an actual live program. Every day for, oh, look at what I'm doing here. I'm showing you things that I'm not supposed to be showing you. Every day for uh, <laughs> five days a week, Monday to Friday, pretty much. So, And some of them are going to be four hours, like tomorrow. The first two hours, I'm going to be on with the GOAT, John from Off the Wall Hockey. And the uh, second two hours, I'm going to be with Steel Flyers. And we're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to do a game review of the games from the night before. And we're going to talk about, on the next two hours, we're going to talk about the games coming up, some happenings that are going on, some interesting focuses, rumors, and all of those sort of things going on in the NHL. And we're going to be putting our educated spin on it all. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. Hit the subscribe. Hit the, hit the bell. It really helps out a lot. Go over to Patreon, make yourself some money. Have a great day. Lots of love to you.